So Air Force recruiters, we kind of get a bad rap. A lot of people say that finding an Air Force recruiter is like finding a $3 bill. And actually, I don't even know if a lot of people said that. I just made that up. In order to move on to the next step of the Air Force's enlistment process, we need to find out what your intellectual capacity is. Here's a Bible and a calculator. We need you to find out if the mother of all bombs is 11 tons of TNT. How big would the blast radius be if it was dropped from Jesus' doorstep? You know what? Never mind. I knew you wasn't Air Force material. So I'm not really here to confirm or deny if this is true or not. But what I do want to do is try to explain why I think this happens and also what you can do to make sure you find a recruiter that will work for you. Take this phone book. I need you to determine if a fighter jet is flying 400 miles an hour from Dallas to Memphis, how many rounds of golf can one airman play in that allotted time? You know what? You know what? Just, just leave. So there's a couple reasons why I think this happens. Uh, first of all, I want you to think about why you're thinking about joining the Air Force. Uh, when you originally say it out loud to someone, you're thinking about joining the military, which branch should they tell you to go check out first? It's very common for family members and friends to recommend the Air Force to their loved ones. So the Air Force recruiters are dealing with an abundance of people trying to join the Air Force because of word of mouth. And because they're getting an abundance of applicants, they're really only working the best of the best because if they start to work anything more, they can start to feel overwhelmed. So really, they're only taking the best ASVAB scores that they have. They're only taking the people with the best criminal backgrounds, the best uh, medical backgrounds, the best height and weight standards, and also the people who are most willing to fit the Air Force needs, meaning they're trying to take the jobs that the Air Force is hiring for. So this is when you start to get recruiters that only work with specific applicants because it's just better for their business. So if you find yourself in a situation where the recruiter just doesn't have time to work with you, or if you find yourself in a situation where you just can't get in touch with the recruiter uh, that's bad if you can't get in touch with the recruiter that's bad but if you do find yourself in that situation did you know that you can always just find another recruiter to work with you what? actually that's only if you're out of high school if you're in high school you have to work with the recruiter that is responsible for your area but if you're out of high school you can search around and find a recruiter that's going to take their time and work your case so i have a couple different ways for you for you to have options in finding a recruiter uh, the first thing you can do you can go to google you can just google the zip code or the area for which you need a recruiter and you can always find a recruiter that way the thing with this is sometimes those numbers aren't accurate and you'll end up getting the wrong number end up dialing an old number or something you can also go on airforce.com if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you're going to see an option for find a recruiter and then it's going to ask you to input your zip code and then it's going to be an option for you to input your education the reason why they're asking you to input your education is to see if they're going to recommend an enlisted recruiter to you or a line officer recruiter or even a health professions recruiter to you it will then ask you if you're special warfare interested and the reason why they're asking that is to see if you're interested in any of our special warfare careers and if you are they're going to show you the special warfare recruiter for your area once you hit submit you're going to see the recruiter responsible for your area and it should also show you their office phone number and their cell phone number and also an email address so you have multiple different ways to communicate with this recruiter that is my second favorite way for finding a recruiter my favorite way for finding a recruiter is downloading the aim high app and the reason why I say this is because the Aim High app just offers so much more than finding a recruiter. But I'm gonna show you guys how to find a recruiter using the Aim High app. So once you download the app, you can continue as a guest. You don't even have to log in. And once you get inside of the app, you're gonna see three dashes in the bottom right corner. If you click on those three dashes, you'll see an option for find a recruiter. If you click on find a recruiter, same thing as the airforce.com website, you're just gonna input your zip code, you're gonna input your education, and also input if you're special warfare interested. Once you hit apply selections, it's gonna show you the active duty recruiter, the Air National Guard recruiter, and also the Air Force Reserve recruiter. So I really like that option. And just like on airforce.com, you're gonna see their office phone number, you're gonna see their cell phone number, and you're also gonna see an email address. So you can have multiple different ways to communicate with these recruiters. And like I said, if you're graduated from high school and you can't get in touch with the recruiter closest to you, you can just input different zip codes and keep searching until you find a recruiter that's willing to work your case. I also said that I love the Aim High app because of everything else that it has on it. But I've actually made a video that shows you how to prepare for basic training. As a matter of fact, it shows you the number one thing that you should prepare for before going to basic training and you can use the aim high app to help you prepare for that so you can watch that video on the screen right now and it'll tell you everything you need to know about the number one tip for preparing for basic training i really hope this video brought value to you like i always say stay beautiful stay classy until next time check me out